Welcome back to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today, we will be having the part 2 of our discussion. Yung part 1 natin will be the sum and product of the roots. Ngayon, we will still be having the relationship of the coefficients to the roots of quadratic equations. But this time, we will now be forming quadratic equation using the sum and product of the roots. So, this topic is still under the most essential learning competencies na binigay ng Department of Education. So, let us have our objectives. So, at the end of the discussion, kailangan makapag-form tayo ng quadratic equation given yung roots or the sum and product of the roots. So, paano ba yun ginagawa? So, normally, nung mga nakaraang mga discussions natin, ang ginagawa natin, we are solving for the roots or the solutions, the values of the unknown variable. So, let us have x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0 for instance. So, paano natin isosolve itong equation na to? So, this equation is actually factorable. So, since it is factorable, i-factor natin siya. So, the first thing that we should do, factor x squared. So, the factors of x squared will be x times x. Okay? So, next, we should think of uh, numbers na kapag multiply natin, dapat negative 7. At the same time, kapag kainad natin, kailangan positive 6 ang lalabas. Okay, product of negative 7, dalawang numbers pag minultiply, negative 7 ang lalabas. At the same time, kapag kainad natin yung dalawang numbers na yon, positive 6 naman ang lalabas. So, what are the numbers? So, the numbers are 7 and negative 1. So, let us check. So, 7 times negative 1, that will give us negative 7. So, ayun yon yung last term natin. Then, i-add naman natin sila. So, 7 plus negative 1... The result is positive 6. Yun yung ating uh, B sa linear term. So, let us now have the factored form. So, the factored form of x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0 will be x plus 7 since positive yung 7 natin and x minus 1 since negative 1 yung 1 natin. So, this will be the factored form. So, katulad ng ginagawa natin in solving quadratic equations by factoring, we will now be using our zero product property wherein we will be equating each factors to 0. So, x plus 7 equated to 0, that will be x plus 7 equals 0. The second factor, which is x minus 1 equated to 0, that will be x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, we need to solve for the values of x. So, dito muna tayo sa unang equation, x plus 7 equals 0. So, si 7, ilipat lang natin sa kabila. Or we can use the addition property or subtraction property. So, kapag kanilipat natin, we will now obtain the first value of x, which is negative 7. So, same process will be applied for x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, therefore, the second value of x will be positive 1. So, therefore, the solutions are negative 7 and 1. So, ito yung ginagawa natin ng nakaraan. Nagsosolve tayo ng values ni x. Pero, paano naman kung ang tanong sa atin, how about if you are given with the solutions or roots? Halimbawa, x equals negative 7 and x equals 1 ang ating given. Tapos, ang tanong isa pa, what is the quadratic equation that will have these solutions or roots? So, papaano ang gagawin natin doon? So, given naman yung roots, kukuwain naman natin yung quadratic equation. So, we can actually do the reverse of factoring. So, since we are given with x equals negative 7 and x equals 1, kung ano yung ginawa natin kanina sa solving, pataas naman tayo, going backwards. Okay? So, ilipat natin si negative 7 sa kabilang side ni equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 7 equals 0. So, same process will be applied for x equals 1. Ilipat natin si 1 sa kabilang side ni equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, let us multiply x plus 7 and x minus 1 and equate them to 0. Ayan. So, if you are going to apply the FOIL method, so x times x, the first terms, that will give us the product of x squared. So, next, the outer terms. So, x times negative 1, that will give us negative 1x or negative x. So, the inner terms, 7 times x, that will give us positive 7x. Then, the last terms, 7 times negative 1, that will give us negative 7, is equal to 0. And if you can see, pwede pa nating isimplify itong mga terms na negative 7 
and then positive 7x. So therefore, the final equation will be x squared plus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. So kung mapapansin nyo, ito talaga yung equation na sinolve natin kanina. Okay? So aside from reverse of factoring, pwede rin tayong gumamit ng sum and product of the roots. So paano ba siya gagamitin? So this is an alternate solution. So first, kuhain natin yung sum of the roots. So ang roots natin, uh, negative 7 at saka 1. Okay? So i-add lang natin sila. So si root number 1 plus root number 2. So that will be negative 7 plus 1. Which will give us the sum of negative 6. So next, let us sum the product of the roots. So pag product of the roots naman, i-multiply natin yung mga roots. So that will be root number 1, negative 7, times root number 2, which is 1. So that will be negative 7 times 1 will give us the product of negative 7. So let us now formulate our quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation will start with an x squared. So sa video na to, ang gagamitin natin ay x squared or throughout. Pero pwede kang gumamit ng sarili mong variable for this one. And then, after natin na maglagay ng x squared, we will now consider the sum of the roots, which is negative 6. Palitan lang natin ng sign or change the sign. Since negative 2, it will become positive 6. Then we need to attach x. Lagyan natin ng x. Yan. So therefore, eto na ngayon yung ating ilalagay sa ating quadratic equation. This will serve as our linear term. So plus 6x. Then, we need to consider now the product of the roots. So, kopyahin lang natin yung product of the roots, which is negative 7. So, minus 7, then equals 0. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parehas lang yung nakuha natin na sagot. Using the reverse of factoring and using sum and product of the roots. So, let us have uh, examples on how are we going to find the quadratic equation using the sum and product of the roots. So, gamitin na natin si sum and product of the roots since mas madali siyang gamitin. Ayan. So, we are given with root number 1, we have 4, and root number 2, we have ng, uh, negative 8. So, sum of the roots tayo, i-add natin yung dalawang roots. So, that will be 4 plus negative 8, which will give us the sum of negative 4. After natin makuha si sum of the roots, Doon naman tayo sa product of the roots. I-multiply naman natin yung roots. So, that will be 4 times negative 8 will give us negative 32. So, let us formulate our quadratic equation. So, the quadratic equation will start with x squared. And then, we will be considering our sum of the roots. We need to change the sign. So, it will become positive 4. Then, lagyan natin ng x. Okay? So, this will be our linear term. So, plus 4x. Then, consider our product of the roots, which is negative 32. Kokopyahin lang natin siya. So, that will be minus 32, then equate to 0. So, therefore, the equation that will have the roots 4 and negative 8 is x squared plus 4x minus 32 is equal to 0. Okay? So, let us have example number 2. Ayan. This time, ang roots naman natin, 0 and 9. So, parehas din yung gagawin natin. Sum of the roots muna tayo. I-add natin si 0 at saka si 9. So, 0 plus 9 will give us the sum of positive 9. And the product of the roots, if you are going to multiply 0 times 9, the product is 0. Then, let us formulate the quadratic equation. So, our quadratic equation will start with x squared. And then, we will be considering the sum of the roots positive 9, change the sign so it will become negative 9. Then put x, i-attach natin si x. So this will serve as our linear term. So lagay na natin dito si negative 9x. Then, how about our last term? So, kukopyahin lang natin si product of the roots na 0. So plus 0 is equal to 0. So if you can see, pwede pa natin itong isimplify. So that the final answer will be x squared minus 9x is equal to 0. Okay? So, madali lang, no? Example number 3 tayo. Ayan. Paano naman kapag ka-fractions? Madali lang din. So, root number 1, we are given with 1 half. Yung root number 2, we are given with 2 thirds. So, sum of the roots tayo. I-add natin si 1 half at saka si 2 thirds. Paano ba tayo mag-a-add ng dalawang fractions? Gamitin lang natin yung butterfly method or the cross multiplication sa, na tinatawag. So, 2 times 3, kaya tayo nagkaroon ng 6 sa denominator. Sir, saan nakuha si 3 at saan nakuha si 4? 
So, i cross multiply lang natin. So, 1 times 3, that will give us 3. Since sum of the root ang hinahanap, so plus tayo. Okay? And then, 2 times 2, that will give us 4. Okay? So, next, if we are going to simplify, 3 plus 4, that will give us 7 over 6. So, this will now be the sum of the roots, 7, 6. Next, the product of the roots, i-multiply naman natin si 1 half at saka si 2 thirds. So, sa pag multiply naman, numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. So, 1 times 2, that will give us 2. 2 times 3, that will give us 6. So, therefore, the product of the roots will be 2, 6. Or, will give us the simplest form of 1 third. So, next, let us formulate our quadratic equation. So, the quadratic equation will start with x squared. And then, we will be considering the sum of the roots, which is 7, 6. Positive to, kapag change yung sign, that will become negative 7, 6. Then, lagyan natin siya ng x. Ayan. So, this will be our linear term. Ayan. So, for the product of the roots, gamitin natin si 2, 6. Bakit natin gagamitin si 2, 6? In terms of uh, forming lang naman ng quadratic equation. Para at least, similar na sila ni 7, 6. At hindi na tayo maghahanap ng LCD. Okay? So, ayan. So, plus 2, 6 is equal to... 0. So, if you can see, may mga denominators yung ating mga fractions na 6. So, therefore, if we are going to multiply all the terms by 6, so 6 times x squared, so that will be 6x squared. Si 6 naman, multiply natin siya kay negative 7, 6x. So, makakancel si 6, ang matitira, negative 7x. So, si 6 naman ngayon, multiply natin siya kay 2 over 6, cancel si 6, so therefore, 2 naman ang matitira is equal to 0 times 6 is still 0. So therefore, the final answer will be 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? So next, extra tayo. How about kapag uh, may mga radicals or may mga square roots yung ating kinukuhang uh, quadratic equation? Papaano natin kukuhain? Or pa paano tayo magpo-form? Sum of the roots ulit tayo. I-add natin si square root of 7 at saka si negative square root of 7 since sila yung ating roots na given. Ayan. So, square root of 7 plus negative square root of 7 will give us 0. Okay? So, for the product of the roots, i-multiply naman natin sila. So, square root of 7 times negative square root of 7 will give us the product of negative square root of 49. Okay? And then, we will be extracting the negative square root of 49 which is negative 7. Okay? So, since nakuha na natin yung sum at product ng roots, we can now form our quadratic equation. Or So, our quadratic equation will start with x squared. Okay? And then, i-attach natin yung sum of the roots na 0x or ilalagay din yung product of the roots which is negative 7. So, we will be having a quadratic equation x squared plus 0x minus 7 is equal to 0. And if you can see, pwede pa natin itong isimplify. Okay? So, therefore, the final equation will be x squared minus 7 is equal to 0. So, hindi naman mahirap mag-formulate uh, ng quadratic equation kahit na radicals yung given. Okay? Let us have another extra. Ayan. Papaano naman kapag yung isang root ay 1 plus square root of 2? At yung isa ay 1 minus square root of 2. Kasi meron mga ganitong instance na nakakakuha talaga tayo ng ganitong solutions. So, papaano tayo magpo-formulate ng quadratic equation? So, same process, sum of the roots. I-add natin si 1 plus square root of 2, the first root, dun sa isa pang root na 1 minus square root of 2. So, 1 plus 1, that will be 2. Positive square root of 2 plus negative square root of 2 will be equal to 0. So, therefore, the sum will be equal to 2. Okay? So, next, for the product of the roots, i-multiply naman natin. So, if you can see, these are sum and difference of two terms. So, kung ganun, ang result dapat niya will be difference of two squares. So, doon na tayo sa shortcut, no? So, that will be 1 times 1. Okay? The result will be positive 1. Since difference of two squares nga siya, difference nga, so therefore, minus ang magiging operation natin. So, pa paano yung last term? So, i-multiply natin yung mga last terms. Square root of 2 
times the square root of 2, that will give us the square root of 4. Then, let us simplify 1 minus the square root of 4. Meron pang square root si 4, which is 2. So, that will be 1 minus 2. And the result is negative 1. And then, since nakuha na natin yung sum and product of the roots, we will now formulate our quadratic equation. So, the quadratic equation will start with x squared. And then, change the sign of the roots since positive to magiging negative 2. Then, lalagyan natin siya ng x. So, this will be our linear term, negative 2x. And then, ikokopyahin lang natin si product of the roots na negative 1. So, therefore, the final answer will be x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? So, doon na tayo sa last example. So, papaano naman kapag ka sum at product na yung given? Hindi na roots, sum and product na agad. Mas madali lang. Okay? Hindi na tayo mag add hindi na tayo mag-multiply. Kasi nga, sum at saka product na yung given natin. So, in our example, negative 7 is the sum. And then, at the same time, negative 12 is the product. Okay? So, ang sum down natin ay negative 7. And then, the product is negative 12. So, therefore, magpa-form na agad tayo ng quadratic equation. So, our quadratic equation will start with x squared. And then, change the sign of the sum of the roots. Since negative 7 siya, magiging positive 7 siya. Then, lalagyan natin siya ng x na variable. So, this will be our linear term. So, plus 7x na yan. Then, just copy the product of the roots which is negative 12. Yan. Then, equate to 0. So, therefore, the equation that will have the sum of the roots which is negative 7 and product of negative 12 will be x squared plus 7x minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay? So, I hope na iintindihan nyo kung paano mag- uh, form ng quadratic equation using sum and product of the roots. So now, it's your turn. You need to find the quadratic equation given the following information. So for number 1, we are given with the roots. Same with number 2, number 3, and number 4, ang given naman sa atin will be the sum. Ang sum ay 10, at ang product ay 25. May natutunan ka for today's discussion. So kung Kung meron ka na pulot for the day, please hit like, subscribe, and hit your notification bell for more video lessons. So, see you again next time here in Solve It with Sir Jude. Good day!